What's the plan for today? Explore Cape Town. Sounds like a great plan. Let's go. After exploring the beautiful nature of Cape Town on our first day, today, we decided to get to know the city itself. We will search for some hidden gems, try some amazing cuisine, and experience the cultures to the fullest. But before we explore too much of the city, I think we must get some coffee. As we always say, coffee is our religion. I think we found the perfect place for that. So we are in a coffee shop called Stairway to Heaven. And the interesting thing, it's located inside of a church and people are waiting outside because it's Sunday. They're about to have a Sunday prayer. So they're gonna come in, he's gonna close the coffee shop. Afterwards, he's gonna, when they leave, he's gonna reopen the coffee shop and we'll be back, send him to stairway to heaven. Pretty funny. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna explore the city. Now we're in Bo Cap neighborhood. This is neighborhood is the most colorful neighborhood in all of South Africa. And as soon as you step in, it feels like you just walked into a rainbow. But it's not just an Instagrammable spot. This whole neighborhood, it used to be painted white and it was a place where the descendants of slaves were forced to live. These people came together and decided to paint the segregated neighborhood with bright colors to express their freedom and individuality. Now, this place is one of the most colorful parts of the world. So when you come inside one of the arts, there's paintings of people that actually used to live here and it tells a story and kind of shows you what this area and what the people look like here. I feel like people in Cape Town are very great because it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I love the details in the painting that they put in. It really tells the stories. So this neighborhood has traditionally had a big Muslim community and you can really see that because almost every house has these free Palestine types of paintings on them. So when we travel, a lot of our family members and friends ask us, how are the locals in the countries that we travel to? So let me paint you a picture of Cape Town. Imagine a village where everybody knows each other, everybody wants to talk to you, smiling at you, waving to you. That is how Cape Town is. It's just much, much bigger. And yesterday when we were walking, we ran into a local that said, oh, you're a traveler here. You must come try Honest Chocolate. Now this is what I call a perfect breakfast. The chocolate here is absolutely perfect because they get to beans from Tanzania and they make everything here in the house from bean to bar. And it smells so good, like a chocolate heaven. We're gonna try a little bit of everything. We got the double, triple fudge brownie. We have a peanut butter, we have mint, we have chocolate, we have original, and we have fudge. Oh my God. I've never tried fudge before. I have no idea what it is. It's so, so good. Oh my God. All of it. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> I was supposed to try it too. Not sorry. Oh, creamy. It's heaven. If you're in Cape Town, you would definitely can't miss this place because I swear it's the most delicious chocolate we've ever, ever tried. Now we have to walk a little bit to burn some color because it was. VA Waterfront and I think the name itself explains what this place is. It's very lovely. There's lots of different coffee shops and restaurants overlooking the water. There's lots of different cruises you can take in and out of the bay. Also there's a big shopping mall so this place is known for shopping but best of all you can just walk around and enjoy. There's a beautiful promenade here and there's lots of things to see and to do.
so we're just walking around and we noticed that there's a lot of street performers and you can just kind of sit here and enjoy the music. Derek's a very good. I would say that there is such a chill vibe here. Like nobody rushes anywhere. Everyone is just like at the cafe, enjoying the view, enjoying the weather, listening to their musicians. It's like, I don't know, like a constant weekend in Cape Town. I do a little cruise, it's gonna take us one hour and the prices are so amazing because we pay 200 per person which is just ten dollars for one hour. That's a steal. You know I thought they're gonna trick us and give us a crappy boat or something but look at this thing it's massive it's so cool to be on this. Well, that was an absolute incredible experience. I probably said it already a million times, but Cape Town is absolutely gorgeous. It seems like everybody really enjoyed it because people were dancing and singing. So if you have just one hour extra of your day, definitely, definitely do this experience. <laughs> yeah. And if you're right next to the waterfront on the weekend, there's another spot locals absolutely rave about. It's hidden from the tourists, but it's just a little bit this way. And it is a local farmer's market. live here because I would get so fat I would eat everything. So the worst part about this place is that there's way too many options. It's absolutely impossible to choose anything. Everything's so good, so good and cheap by the way. Yeah, great prices. After you grab the food there, you come here and uh, here under the tents there are a lot of tables and the best part is that all the people there sit together. It's like a one big community, you know? It's a very beautiful atmosphere. It's so lovely. The music, the vibe. I think it's one of my favorite spots here in Cape Town. The other reason locals come here is to get their fresh produce, whether that's fruits and vegetables or just in general some kind of things to eat. And it is packed. It's literally, there's so many people here all around us. What are these? I don't know what it is. Fresh? <laughs> but it's so delicious. Some kind of cherry guava. So guava mixed with cherry. It's, it's like so natural. You uh huh. Know? Explodes in your mouth. A lot, a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's very delicious. Everything you see here comes from local farms. So everything is sourced right from Cape Town. I think every city should have a place like this where people come and it's so alive. There's music playing, there's amazing produce and products. I think we're missing this in a lot of cities. And for our last stop, we're going to a place that locals say is the best dining experience in Cape Town. After exploring the best local places during the day, for the evening we decided to find something more traditional. So now that one of us has ever eaten African cuisine, and today we get to eat 14 different meals, and best part, that is, is an immersive dining experience, so it's gonna be a lot of African singing and dancing. Now listen to me, let's play that piece.
that we've become the best African drummers, it's finally time to taste from North Africa. Africa we, we have 14 dishes from different parts of Africa. Salad from Namibia, dip from Zimbabwe, couscous from Tunisia, and even pies from Morocco. And when all the dishes are tasted, that's when the real performance begins. Oh Africa, we've just started exploring you, but little did we know that you are so beautiful, so delicious, and so passionate. But I have this feeling that you will keep on surprising us over and over again. Hey.